If you can get past the perplexing name, there's a lot to like about the all new Nissan Qashqai, Quash Key, whatever you want to call it. This all new small SUV is very sophisticated. Bigger, smarter and more fuel efficient, Nissan's small SUV arrives in late 2022 and will be gunning for rivals like the top-selling MG ZS, award-winning Hyundai Kona, Toyota CHR, and Subaru XV. A crucial vehicle for Nissan, it's traditionally the brand's third best seller in Australia, and customer demand for the new model is expected to be strong. Originally called the Dualis, a far more sensible name, Pricing for the new Qashqai hasn't been announced yet, but it should start above the 30k mark and max out around 45k, possibly more for the e-power hybrid. I reckon Nissan's designers have done a tremendous job here. The front end design is clean but modern, and these headlights are compelling. I don't normally get excited by headlights, but there you go. And I don't think you're gonna mistake this design for any other small SUV out there. Two powertrains will be offered in Australia, starting with a 1.3 litre turbo petrol conventional engine, and it'll be followed by this, an intriguing hybrid. It's called e-Power, and it's the first of its kind coming to Australia. And what's interesting about it is that the engine doesn't actually connect to the wheels at all. An electric motor drives the front wheels, whereas the petrol engine acts like a generator. It's gonna be very interesting to see how Aussies take to this one. Regular petrol models get a new generation CVT automatic, while hybrids get a single speed automatic, just like an EV. Nissan's SUVs have gone from zeros to heroes because this interior is really, really nice. I mean, check out this gear shifter. It feels like something out of a futuristic sci-fi movie. The cockpit design is clean, simple, but sophisticated, and overall material quality is impressive for a small SUV. A big wireless phone charger is a nice touch too. This top spec TI model gets a panoramic glass roof, twin digital screens, a 10 speaker Bose stereo, and get this, quilted leather seats with a massage function. Yes, please. The digital screen setup is comprehensive, starting with this customizable 12.3 inch driver's display that's tastefully integrated into the dashboard. There's also a big 12.3 inch central touchscreen that features a far better menu system than before. All the infotainment goodies are in there, including wireless Apple CarPlay, but there's no digital radio. Impressively, all models get a full host of advanced safety systems in Australia, not just this high-end flagship. The inclusion of traffic sign recognition is pretty cool too. Check it out, 90 degree opening doors makes access a whole lot easier, but this is a small SUV. There's not a lot of leg room. Headroom's okay. Comfort levels are pretty good, as is amenity. USB A and C, air vents, and fold down armrests with cup holders. There's a power operated tailgate, which reveals a surprisingly spacious boot for a small SUV. There's a good deal of flexibility too. You've got hidden compartments and special dividers so you can lock away sections of luggage in there. It's not a bad setup. The Nissan Qashqai looks sharp, is seriously well equipped, and has a flexible interior. Throw in a more frugal petrol engine and a unique hybrid powertrain, and it's got loads more appeal than before. Indeed, Nissan's new Qashqai is looking like one of its more impressive SUVs. And while sophistication has gone up, that means the price will probably go up as well. But I think it's gonna be worth it.